Um, and so, I mean, um, as I say in, 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 in the book Zap, I said, you know, hate speech is a strange if you think about it. Um, I say, look, hate is a, an emotion or effective attitude, and it's not a good one, right? Um, it's not even good for you if you have it. But if you sit in your room hating all sorts of people in all sorts of ways, it's not a matter for the law, right? You're going to create obviously psychological damage to yourself and probably spiritual damage if you're a Christian as I am. So, but it's not a matter for the law. Law is not really concerned with what goes on in your head until it credibly issues in action against somebody else. Or rather, I should have said, that was the way the law used to be, <laughs> okay? But now with hate crime and so on, we are beginning to criminalize attitudes that people might have. How, now, however reprehensible they might be, and however much we might deprecate them, okay? Simply to hate somebody is not and should not be a crime. And it doesn't really matter, by the way, in criminal actions, what my motive is. It doesn't make any difference. So an example I give is, I say, suppose somebody attacks a woman and, and uh, severely injures her uh, to steal her money and her phone, right? And let's suppose another party does the same thing and inflicts the same amount of damage, both in terms of physical um, injuries and uh, removal of property, but actually does it not just if you like to take the property, but because he actually hates women and thinks they're inferior. Now, whatever about the moral aspect of the situation, and clearly, morally speaking, the second incident is more grave than the first. Legally speaking, it seems to me the actions are entirely the same. Okay. So if like somebody comes and punches you in the face because he hates people who live in Montana, right? or he hates you in particular because you've got a beard or whatever, or he just, and he hits another person just for the fun of it and causes the same amount of damage to their teeth or jaw and so on. The crimes are the same. As far as the law is concerned, it doesn't really make any difference why. Why motive may be relevant, for example, to the detection of a crime, but it's not actually relevant to the constitution of a crime. And that's the problem. And that's what we're getting now. And that's why it's so dangerous. Because now, whereas the law, if you like, stopped, as it were, on the outside of your skin, now the law wants to move into your head. And, and well, where is it going to stop? <laughs>